Yes, class. Am I audible to all of you? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Lena and Mariam. Uh, C class. In the last class, we we couldn't complete bulk model modulus. Already, we had a shorter class. So, C. Basically, uh, this question. Let's solve this. So, this question says that. If normal density of sea water is 1 gram per centimeter cube, what will be its density at a depth of 3 kilometer? See, density is 1 gram per centimeter cube. Height is given as 3 kilometers. So, 3 kilometers means 3 into 10 to the power 5 centimeters. We will be writing this in centimeters. Right, so 3 into 10 to the power 5 centimeters. And what is compressibility given? 0 0.00005 per atm. All right. Now, P is equal to pressure is equal to H rho G. This I have told you. This we will be discussing in fluids also. All right. So, P is equal to H rho G. Now, uh, what is the height? 3 kilometers, right? So, 3 into 10 to the power 5, density is 10 to the power, uh, okay, 1. We will use the density 1 because gram per centimeter we are using, so 1. And density, see, uh, this is 9.8 meter per second square in terms of uh, centimeter per second square. We have to write in meter per second. See, G is equal to 9.8 meter per second square. This we have taken in centimeters. This we have taken in uh, gram per centimeter. So, we'll take this also in centimeter. That is 981 centimeters per second. 981 centimeter per second square approximately. So, we'll use this value. Fine. So, P is equal to, pressure is equal to uh, 3 into 981. This will be 2943 into 10 to the power 5. Around this, it will 2943 into 10 to the power 5. Now, we have to find Okay, now see, what is the bulk modulus given? This is one thing. What is the bulk modulus given? Bulk modulus and compressibility. I have told you that there is a relation. Lena, can you describe me the relation? What was the relation between bulk modulus and uh, compressibility? In the last class, you must have written. Bulk modulus and compressibility. They are inversely proportional to each other. Bulk modulus and compressibility, they are inversely proportional to each other. So, this will be 1 by 0 0.0005. Right? This was it, ATM. Now, one thing you know, B is equal to minus P V by delta V. Correct? This is the formula for it. We know what is V by P. Okay, we can calculate that. But what is delta V by V? See, we have no information about it. This we have to find out uh, what will be its density at a depth of 3 kilometers. We have to find its depth uh, density. Now, if I write it like this, delta V by V. So, delta V by V. This will be equal to delta P by density. Maybe. Understood how? Bulk modulus is given. Density is equal to mass by volume. So, if I am taking density as 1, volume and mass will be the same. Are you getting this? See, B is equal to P minus P V by delta V. You have to find out density. We have The main question is to find out density first. All right. So, change in volume. This is density. Change in volume when we are calculating. See, when you are calculating the change in density, will be equal to change in mass. All right, will be equal to change in volume. So, I have just written this. This is just for other questions where you want to calculate, where you are not given any data. Right now, in this question, this is not needed. All right, this is given. In this question, you will be able to find out through delta V by V. See, what I'm saying is your question, in this question, you have to find out what is the density. Now, if I write this as delta V by V from here, let's see from this equation. It will be pressure by bulk modulus. 
pressure is calculated from here. All right, this is pressure. Bulk modulus is calculated from here. This is bulk modulus. So will I not be able to obtain delta V by V? I'll be able to obtain delta V by V. So what's the issue? Issue lies here that P delta P by V is there. That is delta V by V is there. But we didn't have to find out volume. We had to find out density. So here density if mass is if we are if you are saying the density of water what is the density of water density of water in cgs unit is always 1 gram per meter cube it means in 1 meter cube there is 1 gram of water present so mass is 1 gram that is, whatever will be the volume, change in volume will be equal to the fractional change of density as well. Now, is it clear why I was writing this equation? Is it clear, Lena? Is it clear to you? Yes, ma'am. Because see, your mass is 1 gram, right? If mass is 1 gram, your density volume both are same. So, that's how you can find out density. Write it down, then the last type of uh, model of elastic elasticity, shear was left, that we'll discuss first, write it down.
yes class the last modular of elasticity this is shear modulus so see we have already discussed young's modulus there we had longitudinal strain right when we talked about volume we had bulk modulus now last one where angle was changing that was tangential strain right what is tangential strain tangential strain is force upon area what is theta change in length by original length this only we calculated so when this was shear strain so what will be this we represented through eta okay we represent this through eta so eta will be c f by area that is the shear force or tangential force you can say tangential uh, stress you can say and how do you write the shear strain delta l by n so finally this can be written as f by a this will be l by delta l this is the formula again the same si unit of pascals or newton per meter square uh, write it quickly then we will see a question today we will complete this uh, lesson so that from the next class straight away we will start with fluids so your fluids will be going here uh, thermal is already going there then waves and oscillations will be left
Yes. So this question says a zero point zero five meter cube has its upper face displaced by zero point two centimeters. Okay, by a tangential force of eight newton. Calculate modulus of rigidity. You have to calculate the modulus of rigidity. Uh, now see, force is given to you as one newton. Okay, it is seen. 0.05 meter cube is the length. How will you calculate the area for the formula for the modulus of rigidity? How will you calculate? Area will be cube square. See, I'll tell you. Let me show you the figure how it would look like. This is the cube. Now, the upper surface no, has been displaced because of the shear forces. Okay, the upper surface has been displaced. Now, look, if the upper surface has been displaced, so this part that was coming. This will be displaced like this. The original length here was 0 0.05 meters and this shift is 0 0.2 centimeters which is the change in length. This is delta L and this is L. So area will be 0 0.05 whole square side square. How do you calculate the area of a square? You just multiply the side. So now put in all the values. Eta will be equal to uh, this will be Force is 1. So see, this is for one surface, right? Look. So force is 8 Newton. This is this is not 1 Newton. This is 8 Newton. So this will be 8 into area is 0 0.05 square. F by, no, F by A. This will be the length. F into L divided by area into change in length that is 0 0.2 centimeter will be 10 to the power minus 2. When you will solve you will get the answer around 8 into 10 to the power 9 pascals. This this you have to check by the calculations. Okay class. So this was an easy question. One more question we will have to practice but first write this down. Question you all have written?
see this question says two strips of metal metals are riveted together at their ends by four rivets means four rivet one rivet is this and one metal is this one metal is this like this they have been riveted together with the help of four screws over here diameter of the screws are given maximum tension we have to calculate that is from the formula you have to find out force that is missing and the shearing stress on the rivet is not to exceed 2.3 into 10 to the power 9 pascals. It means you have the modulus of rigidity with you. Uh, you have the shearing stress with you. See, this is one. Red one is one metal strip. Green one is another metal strip. And they have been riveted together with the help of these four screws. So this diameter is given as 6 millimeter. The radius is 3 millimeters. So, uh, area when we'll calculate it will be pi r square, that is pi 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter square. Okay. E uh, eta is equal to f l by a delta l. Now, see, this is for one only. Eta is equal to f l by a delta l. This is just for one drive it, means for this one screw. And there are four screws in your system. Correct. So, what will you do? You will multiply it by four times the area. We will not consider one area. Why will we not consider one area? Because that, we are not just talking about one of it. We are talking about all of it. So, that's why four times the area. Also, shear stress is given to you 3.2.3 uh, into 10 to the power 9. So, eta is equal to F L by 4 A delta L out of this, can you see L by delta L is already theta, which is given in the question. So this will be simply force will be force will be <laughs> or a theta from here, right? This will be four a theta. So force will be four times area is pi into 10 to 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 whole square and theta is 2.3 into 10 to the power 9. Questions you all have written. Write it from here.
uh, yes, class. Uh, last part of this lesson that is stress strain energy. Now look, when a body is strained, for there is production of change in your system. There has to be a work done associated. Whenever there is a force present in your system, whenever a change is occurring, that is displacement is occurring, there will be a strain in your system. So energy will be half stress into strain into the volume of the body. This is the formula. Okay, half stress into strain into volume. So energy per unit volume if you write. Energy per unit volume. This is half stress into strain. Because see, volume will come in the denominator. Correct. Now, uh, this is just stress strain energy that you have to remember. Talking about Poisson's ratio. So, what is Poisson's ratio? It's the ratio of lateral strain to the longitudinal strain. So, longitudinal strain we have discussed, but we didn't discuss any lateral strain, right? What is meant by lateral strain? Lateral strain is equal to change in the diameter. So, we write it as minus capital D by D. Cap uh, delta D is change in diameter. Capital D is the original diameter. Lateral strain means uh, the change that is occurring in the girth laterally. Longitudinally means in the length, the change that is occurring in the length. Uh, the lateral strain means sideways like this. So this is sideways. Okay. So Poisson's ratio is basically this lateral strain by the longitudinal strain. Okay. So lateral strain by longitudinal strain. So lateral strains formula is this. Longitudinal is this. So Poisson's ratio will be minus delta D by D divided by delta L by L. So this will be delta D into L divided by delta L into D. This is the formula. Okay. Uh, see, Poisson's ratio is never more than 0 0.5. Its value is usually between 0 0.2 and 0 0.4. This I'll tell you later. First, you write it till here. Usually, the value is between 0 0.2 to 0 0.4. Okay. And uh, maximum value is 0 0.5. Usually, you will find the Poisson's ratio given as 0 0.3, 0 0.352 uh, like this. Okay. Write it down first. First, write the stress strain energy. It's basically the work done.
yes class written now see uh, these are some relations that uh, i want you to write then one question is left and this lesson is over among elastic constants see we have done, written uh, done three things you have young's modulus of elasticity you have bulk modulus of elasticity with you and lastly we had seen modulus of rigidity so all of these are connected these are just relations which can be used okay you don't have to apply it in any of the questions, but just in case you have a question where you think you, uh, for the MCQs part you need. So mostly from this second one and fourth one, these get utilized. So just write down these formula, uh, Y is equal to 3B, 1 minus 2 sigma. Sigma means Poisson's ratio. Second is Young's modulus is equal to 2 eta, 1 plus sigma. Third is Sigma is equal to 3B, minus 2 eta divided by 2 eta plus 6b. Last is 9 by y is equal to 1 by b plus 3 by eta. Write it down. This formula, do not use it directly in any of the questions. Solve it in the manner the way we have studied. Okay. Write it down. Then one question we'll practice.
uh, see this says that when a brass rod of diameter 6 millimeters is subjected to a tension of 5 into 10 to the power 3 newtons, diameter changes by 3.6 into 10 to the power minus 4 centimeters. Calculate the longitudinal strain and poison's ratio for brass, given that Young's modulus for the brass is 9 into 10 to the power 10 newton per meter square. See, diameter is given as 6 millimeters, so radius will be 3 millimeters. That is 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 meters. Tension, which is equal to the force, is given as 5 into 10 to the power 3 Newton. Okay. And the change in diameter is given as 3.6. Change in diameter is given as 3.6 into 10 to the power minus 4 centimeters, which we can write it as 3.6 into 10 to the power minus 6 meters. Young's modulus is also given. Young's modulus is given as 9 into 10 to the power 9. Newton per meter square. So, Young's modulus is longitudinal stress by strain. Or directly, I can write this as C. This is force per unit area into longitudinal strain. So, longitudinal stress is force upon area. If we want to find out what is longitudinal strain from here. Longitudinal strain will be force by area into Young's modulus. So force by pi r square into Young's modulus it will be. Now just substitute in the values. It will be 5 into 10 to the power 3 by 3.14 into 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 whole square into 9 into 10 to the power 10. So this is equal to 1.96 into 10 to the power minus 3. So lateral strain. Lateral strain is delta D by D. That is 3.6 into 10 to the power minus 3 by 6 into 10 to the power minus 3. So this will be equal to 6, almost 6 into 10 to the power minus 4. This is the lateral strains value. So Poisson's ratio. What is Poisson's ratio? It's the ratio of both of these. That is lateral strain is this. And what was the longitudinal strain? 1.96 into 10 to the power minus. When you will solve, you will get this around 3.0.3. That completes the lesson also. Quickly write down the solution.
uh, you people can leave now. Take a break of 10 minutes. Then uh, join the next ID for thermal properties class. Okay. Thank you so much.